Now, what about the impact on climate change and natural storms, hurricanes and the like? Like, How much are they increasing? How much is the severity of them increasing? Because that's a big point of confusion for people. I've heard... I've heard multiple people say that those storms are worse than ever and more frequent than ever. And then I've heard people say, no, they're actually less frequent than ever, but stronger. I've even heard people say, no, 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 they're more frequent and less strong. So I don't know (laughs) what's going on. No. So if the the biggest point on this, I think, is they're certainly much stronger on TV. Right. I mean, you hear much, much more about them because well, they're such great. They're such great stories. Yeah, they absolutely yeah. they sell. But if you actually look at the data, we cannot tell right now. So that's that's the conclusion from the uh, from the government agencies of the U.S. as well. We can't still tell that there is a fingerprint from climate change on hurricanes. We can't. So no, we can't. Why can't we? Because there is such a natural variability. That you can't see, oh, this increase or this decrease is because of global warming. Is there an if you, increase trend currently? So, n- well, so in the 1960s, sorry, in the 1970s and 80s, there was a lull in hurricanes that hit the U.S. That was also when satellite coverage started. So much of what you see now is if you start from the 1970s or 1980s, there is an increase for the U.S. Uh, but that's probably... Uh, uh, spurious, because if you go back in the 1950s and 1960s, there was actually just as many hurricanes.